go to the government record keeping page of the website and click on services. Um, if you click on that, it will take you to the login page. Now I'm not going to log in on this page because this is actually our live portal. I'm actually going to take you into our demonstrator version. So So over the last year, we've been um, developing this online portal for public officers to use. So at the moment, it's ready to use for um, people who wish to register a new series or to request the transfer of some records. Um, the, we are transitioning away from our old traditional paper forms. Um, so we won't be requiring to complete these forms anymore, but basically, all the work will be done through the portal and we're expecting a transition period for that. So I've shown you how to access it from the website. I've shown you the login. So this is what you use presented with when you actually log in with your login. Now we'll be providing logins to people as needed um, and I'll put in the chat at the end just the agency services email address um, that you can contact us on if you are interested in actually being set up to use the portal. Um, so as you can see, there's three sections of the portal. Contact us. And I know I'm going to get the little spinning dots of slowness. This will just send a, a um, email into us as Andrew just alluded to we using SharePoint for this. So you can put a message in sort of saying, you know, hey, I need some help with this part of the portal. It's not making any sense. It will come in, raise a case and the agency services team will get back to you. Self-assessment, so this is the part, it's not live yet. So if you click on this at the moment, it just basically says that the records management assessment tool will be available and coming soon. So I'll leave Catherine to talk about that. But the main bit I wanted to talk about was transfer. So the transfer part of the portal is live now. It went live at the end of January. We have got two public offices who have been set up for use. One of them is um, Transport for New South Wales. The other one is Department of um, Planning Industry, DPI, Department of Planning Industry and Environment. Um, obviously, we're going to be needing to manage administrative change after tomorrow, but for the moment, they're the two who have been using it. I've actually logged in um, and the material you're going to see here is actually the series of records that belong to State Archives and Records Authority that we're responsible for. When you log in, you will only see the series material that your agency is currently responsible for. So it's not like you're going to be able to log in and scan everything that DPI have or Transport have or DPC have. It'll just be tied to your agency. So we're going to just take it through the portal. We have got, when you click into transfer, there's three options. There's Series Explorer, which is basically going to have populated all of the series that your agency is currently responsible for. And we're hoping that this is going to be a really useful tool for um, agencies. So you can sort by number, you can search. Um, you don't need to put the NRS in, so it'll bring up the series. You can search by um, word. So I think I've spelled that right. Yes, it'll bring up any um, series that actually refer to thesaurus. So the first step will be checking if you're going, if you're planning on transferring records, if you haven't done it for a while, if you're not frequently doing it, checking to see if there is actually a series that's already been registered for use um, by SARA. Okay. If you've had a look and you've thought to yourself, hang on, the series of records I want to transfer doesn't exist, um, you can use the portal to create a new series. So this actually replaces um, table one on the current transfer proposal form on our website. So I'll just show you anything with the res asterisk is required. So I will just go through and show you how you would um, request a series. So in this one, I've basically just said this is what this proposed title is. 
This is one I prepared earlier, obviously. Um, start date is the only mandatory date that we have for this. So um, you can type it in. We're not requesting an end date because we acknowledge that some series are still in the process of being created. It's just sort of when the information started being created, which agency created the records. Um, there's a drop down system. So in our case, we've just got State Archives and Records Authority of New South Wales. If it's not populated, I can actually say, listen, it's not there and you can type one in. So just say I wanted to put in something like management office okay um, what's the format of the records this is another drop down field so um, I'll just say that this is paper how are they arranged again a drop down field I say it's alphanumeric and any special comments you want us to know about the series so in this case I've hit submit and you'll just get a message to say that your submission has been successful. Okay, if we go back now into this port, this um, case list, you can see that this new series request has been created and it appears as a case. It's got a status of new says who requested it and it says which team it's been assigned to in SARA to um, assess. So, okay. So that's create new series, but the thing that probably will be most relevant is transfer records. So this is going to do away with the forms as I've already mentioned. It's designed for both physical and digital. So it asks you at the outset, what kind of records that you're transferring. Um, And before you start, the system at the moment is not designed to um, start and stop a request. So what we're recommending is that people download the template to start with, which hang on, it's opening on the other screen, so I'll have to drag it across once it opens. Slowly. Okay. This is what the template looks like. So we're no longer asking for the NRS. We're no longer asking for which consignment we're up to. We're just asking for the container, the item number, the description, start date, end date, and the access direction. So this has sort of shrunk down our forms, but you will need to have this ready to go when you're ready to propose and request approval to transfer. Okay, so I'd just save that into your system. It downloads as an Excel version, but it does need to be uploaded later on as a CSV version. And we do ask, you can't change any of the columns, add columns, change the titles, anything like that. So, okay. So these um, declarations are currently on our transfer proposal form. So it basically just replicates that. Um, you can't move forward without ticking them. Same as previously, anything with a res asterisk is a required field. Okay, authorising officer's name. Now we acknowledge that sometimes you may not be the authorising officer. You might just be the records person who has had someone, depending on your own internal delegations, who is actually authorising the transfer. It's got a drop down list of names here. I'm actually going to say Andrew is my manager and he's the one who's transferring this propose, this transfer. But you still also have the option to say the person I want is not there and you can put their details in. Okay. Would you like to add, and we've already automatically captured your details because you're the one who's logged into the portal and creating this request. You do have the option to actually nominate a secondary contact officer apart from yourself. So if you know that you're going to be going on holidays or if you work part time and you're only in the office certain days, and you're not sure when the records might be sent off or we might be collecting them, you could actually say, yes, I want to put a secondary contact officer in. If it's yes, put their details in. If it's no, I'm just going to say no in this instance. 
So this is where the Series Explorer and the request to create a series is important because you need to have that series number ready to progress further with the case. So in this one, I'm going to say that I'm transferring into series NRS 18696. And it gives me the series title, so correspondence files from state records. Okay. It's um, for the disposal authority, it's a drop down. So we're just asking for which disposal authority you're using at this point. In this case, I'm saying it's um, 402. We have put a note here to put the actual specific class in the comments box before, below. This is something we might enhance in the future, but at the moment, we're just asking for you to actually present the information in that way. Um, this one I'm saying is paper. Container type, type one boxes. Comments, have I got any specific comments I want to put in about this? No, not really. And then we ask for the collection address. So in this case, I'm going to say it's coming from Say it's at Kingswood. I'm going to say that this operation name is Sarah. This is here in case we're actually collecting records from a, um, if for example you're part of um, DPI, we might be collecting records from a specific office, not necessarily from head office. So that's why we've got organisation name there. We've also got the ability to put in a floor or level. I'm just going to leave that blank. You got the option to put in delivery instructions and um, the delivery instructions for that are um, please deliver to the workroom Tuesdays only. Okay. And then once you've done all of this, you've put in all your details, we upload the actual um, consignment list. So I'm going to hit upload. Here's one I've prepared earlier. I hit next. And again, you get that submission successful notice. Um, that actually will now also appear down here in your portal cases. I actually might default them so it's sorting the most recent case first. So it's basically saying that you've requested a physical transfer on this date at this time. Um, we have found with agencies, DPI in particular, we've had a couple of people from their team who've been requesting and everybody's requests are showing up here. So you can see what is happening across the team. Um, I don't think we've really got time for any questions, but I'll finish up this now and I will throw to Catherine, but I am happy to take questions at the end if we end up with some time. Okay. Thank you, everyone.